Okay, puck's dropped. Uh, how's it going? Welcome to the Randy McDonough channel where you hear about the cool music that belongs in your collection and the cold beer that belongs in your fridge. So it's about time I did a beer review, so here goes. Um, today I'm going to be talking about uh, John R. Molson and Sons, 1908 Historic Pale Ale. So, um, saw this big bottle at the beer store, thought I'd grab it, and uh, lo and behold, there's a little tag on there, so it's identifying the beer a little more, eh? Um, you don't see that every day when you're getting a beer. Not that I'm getting a beer every day, but uh, you don't see that every day, but you know what I mean. So anyway, what's it say? Uh, John H.R. Molson and Brothers, 1908, is strong, unfiltered, historic pale ale crafted from a recipe found deep in our archives. Hope the beer's not as old as 1908, but anyway, uh, this limited release brew provides an inviting blend of traditional hop field notes and a multi body that is not too full or heavy. And it's signed uh, John Molson, and it's in French too, or English, uh, whichever you choose to read. Um, it's funny, John Molson signed it. I thought he was dead a long time ago, but I guess uh, news of his demise was greatly a um, uh, load of bullshit, eh? So anyway, um, anyway, uh, let's have a look at the packaging here. Nice, uh, like I said, they got a little note there, but uh, you don't see that every day. The bottle is a traditional uh, bottle in, found in Canada. The, it looks more like one of the older quart bottles you used to see a lot. Eh? You don't see that much anymore, mostly in Montreal and uh, maybe like the Imperial Tavern in Toronto. Eh? Um, so there you go. Uh, nice exterior, nice classic old time label, retro, way back. Uh, this right here, that sure isn't retro. Uh, maybe you flip those numbers around, 1980, uh, not 1908. But anyway, it still looks good if you look at it this way. So, okay, from there. Now the important part, eh? I'm gonna crack it. And by the way, I cracked it using a uh, 1980s era Molson Export, uh, Molson Export, yeah, a good one, but Molson Export uh, opener, eh? Uh, you know, kind of a mix of eras there. Hope you like it. Anyway, I'll give it a pour. A little more. There's a can of the goose there for people who aren't familiar with Canadian uh, wildlife fowl. Hey, nice thick, thick head, eh? Uh, and the color's nice too, like a caramel color. Uh, uncharacteristic for most of the products. They usually tend to be lighter, eh? Like Canadian and Export and Molson Stock Air. They're all good, but uh, definitely a lighter color than that. All right, down the sewer. Hmm. Pretty fruity. Uh, you taste of grapefruit and orange. Grainy, you know, uh, malty aroma. Nice beige head. Gonna need a little more to really assess. Hmm. Hoppy, pretty hoppy, eh? Uh, hints of like um, bag of Doritos in there, even you know, it, it brings out things, or maybe that's because I have them earlier. I got stuck in my teeth, right? But um, it works well with it, at least. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say. Um, and the aftertaste, minus the Doritos, probably. Um, you know what? It's not too strong. You can taste it, but it it, it it's got a caramel flavor, eh? Uh. <laughs> Excuse me, maybe like the caramel bar or whatever, uh, something caramelly like chocolates. Uh, maybe take a little more, eh? Because uh, you got to assess, you got to drink. Sometimes work isn't that bad, right? <laughs> Cheers. Also, the burp factor is low. I don't feel the need to burp, right? Like usually uh, beer of lower quality, you got to burp really strong, right? So uh, actually I feel pretty good with this one. 
no burp, low burp factor on the uh, John R. Molson. So, uh, wow. I'm going to have to say the rating on this one is uh, five Wula Maris. So that's one Wula Mer, two Wula Mer, three Wula Mer, four Wula Mer, five Wula Mer's. For John R. Molson, 1908 historic pale ale. Uh, run to the beer store, your local beer store, and get this. In Ontario, it's the beer store. Uh, Quebec, I guess you can get it anywhere you want, eh? And maybe the U.S., uh, probably uh, tougher to get, but uh, sometimes I'm surprised what I see when I'm visiting my American cousins in Buffalo and even down in Florida, eh? So I've seen some, uh, saw X down there, saw Canadian, both uh, Molson products. So you never know, they could surprise you down there. And uh, It's like three fifty a bottle here. I'm sure in the States it's like one fifty. you know, everything down there is so cheap, right? Especially booze, so... Uh, maybe everybody give this a try and uh, rate subscribe comment uh, I'd like to hear what you have to say about this beer or have you tried it or some beer you've had lately I'm always curious about beer okay thanks very much eh